Natalia. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today, if you can't tell, I'm doing something a little different. Um, we recently kind of done a little rearranging. We got a new shelf to go um, kind of between our kitchen and our living room type area next to some shelving to serve as kind of a um, serve as an extra pantry. Um, and we had bought a new shelf unit. And this shelf right here, it's actually not very big. It's just like right, right here. Um, this is the bottom of the actual shelf that we had in the pantry. Um, well, next to the pantry. Um, this is, this is the, the shelf that we had before. This is the shelf that we had there before. Um, and as you can see, it's not very big. It's, it's not wide. I've actually got it sitting on top of my shelf that I keep my fabric in. And in an attempt to get these totes off the floor and do something else with my cross stitch projects, um, I have decided we have decided to put this shelf here. Um, and I'm going to put my existing projects in. Now, this shelf is not a very big shelf. Uh, it's not huge, so. I have had to kind of adjust these shelves down. These two right here are going to be wide, and then I have a then I have a short shelf down here. Sorry. Um, see if I can do a little moving around here. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to angle this down anymore. Um, that's a little better. Um, but anyway, this shelf down here is going to be kind of narrow, as you can see, and then these right here are going to be wide. The reason for that being is that. I need to make sure I'm, I'm going to be stacking my envelopes and if you don't know what I mean, I keep all my projects, well most of my projects in envelopes. I don't have very many project bags. Um, these are my project bags. Um, and this is actually a, a bigger size one. So just to give you an example, this is how it's going to go. Anyway, but what the goal for is today that I'm about to do is I'm actually going to go through my projects and generally I do want to keep them in alphabetical order. This down here is probably going to be smaller projects and uh, maybe if they're in a, a plastic sandwich bag or something. So these are going to be smaller things. The rest of this is going to be my regular and medium sized projects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through every single one of my projects. I'm going to be absolutely brutal today, and I know I've said that in the past. I'm going to be brutal today, and I'm going to be real with myself on what I'm going to carry forward and what I'm going to um, do away with in UFO. Hold on just a second. I need to let a dog out of the room. So, <laughs> this is going to be a long process. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. Um, I'm not going to go through and show you every single whip. Um, I'm going to show you the whips that I'm going to put in here as I'm putting them in here. If it's a project that I'm just not sure about, then I'm going to, then I'll show you the actual project, like how much I've got done on it, um, and kind of share with you my feelings on it. Um, I have a lot of projects to go through, so I'm not going to talk anymore. Um, and I'm actually going to start with, I have my totes right here in front of me. Um, and yes, I'm having to stand up, so obviously I'm not trying to do this for too long. I have a few right here that I'm going to set aside here for now that I pulled out. There's actually a couple that aren't going to be in these toads because they are out in the living room um, next to my stitchy spot because they are active whips and I don't need to show those because I'm not going to be putting them away. This tote kind of stays in the living room. Um, it stays by the window because Dean likes to lay on it, um, lay in front of the window. It has seen better days. Like this little piece right here <laughs> is coming out. But this is the small tote. This is a, I don't know, 
know the size of this tote. Oh, got here. This is a, doesn't even say on, on the cover. It's a Sterilite tote. That's all I know. Um, yeah, I don't think the, I don't think the sticker's on it anymore. But it's pretty, pretty good size tote if you can tell by the lid. So, this is what we're gonna start with. Um, for the most part, these things are mostly in order. Actually, I'm gonna start with the big tote. Sorry, because those are the ones that are actually in order, in alphabetical order. And that'll give me a bigger chunk. This is, this comes off the big tote. This one, I do know how big this tote is. This one is, This is a 116 quart tote. It's big. So, um, like I said, all the projects that are in this one are actually in alphabetical order. So I'm, I'm just gonna go, just run through them. Right off the bat, I see one that I'm gonna move UFO. I'm not pulling this out of the bag. If you recognize that, you know which one it is. I'm not putting this away. I'm not, I'm not moving forward with this one because it's going to take me forever in a day to stitch it. And I'm not trying to do all that. I'm getting to a point in my life where I do not like having so many whips. After starting 30 in March, yes, I realize I made that mistake. But I really want to be down under 30, 40, 50. I don't like having so many whips. So this is going to be the first one to be UFO'd. Um, and since I am new with rolling it, I will show you how much I've gotten done on it. I was going to do this as, as three separate pieces, which I know I've gotten a decent amount, but still, that's going to take me forever and a day to finish. And I just don't have the, I just don't have the mental wherewithal to keep trying to work on this. So... I'm taking the needle minder off of it. It's cute little, cute little cow needle minder. And I'm sticking that on my um, filing cabinet. This filing cabinet right here, this is where I keep my patterns. I keep my patterns in here. Alphabetical order by designer. My magazines go in here. There's a third shelf down here where I keep my kits. And then the bottom shelf, down, the bottom one down at the bottom is just miscellaneous stuff. There's a couple of kitted up projects in there. There's a couple of larger kits that didn't fit in the third drawer, different things. Um, so this is gonna be the first to go. Where did I put, where did I put the thing? Was this it? Oh, I dropped it right back down in the, in the toad. So this is gonna be the first one to go. I'm just gonna toss it on the floor for now. Um, this one I'm definitely keeping. I do wanna keep checking forward on this one. This one is Angel of Love. So hopefully I'm not disappointing anybody, Angel of Love. And I know I haven't gotten very far on it, technically. And why are you caught in the zipper? I'm gonna have to turn that down. Yeah, I know, I, I told you I wasn't gonna show you everything. It's, that's my progress on it so far. Not a ton, but I do want to keep um, working on it. I think it's a absolutely stunning design. So that one is definitely kind of go. And you can see what I'm talking about. This top one up here is probably going to be a little bit tight. The next one I'm going to keep, but it's actually going to end up being a restart. I'm just going to keep it in the thing for now um and that is um big ass sampler this is by craft dark on etsy if you want to read what that quote says go back and pause the video because it's a funny quote so this one i'm definitely keeping um 
I'm not going to show you how much I've gotten done on it because it is going to be able to start. I'm just going to go ahead and put it in with my, um, well, we'll put it down here. It might be a good place for restarts to go down here. Next up, um, this is going to be Linda Stitches Birds to Bows. This one I'm keeping, even though I don't have very much progress on it. This might as well be a wet parade, y'all. Might as well, because I'm going to end up showing you everything anyway. Um, this is Birds to the Bows. That's how much I've gotten done on it. This is a, um, it's a 16 count pictures plus crystal something that I always forget. Um, crystal, crystal helix by pictures plus. So that one is staying. Um, This one, this one needs to be focused. Sorry, I'm trying to keep them as alphabetical as much as possible. This next one is the Choose Your Own Quote by Heartstring Samplery. One thing you really need to know right now is that border, because I'm not stitching that quote. I have her custom design me a quote of my choosing. I really need a place down here where I can put this stuff while I show it to you. I haven't gotten very far in this one, although I have been considering bringing it out and working on it. Just working on a flower, that's all I was doing. So, this is a 40 count picture list plus. I want to say ancient. Hold on and I will tell you. I can get the card out. Legacy. 40 count pictures plus legacy. So yes, I'm going to be keeping this one. Next one I'm definitely also keeping. This is the hands-on design coffee. Um, well, it's called the Cool Bean series. Um, this is the one I'm currently on right now. Just ignore my nails. Um, cool Bean series. This one I'm doing on a 16 count Pictures Plus in Murmur. If I can get to it. This is such a big piece of fabric, y'all. That's where I'm at so far on it. The border is free on her site, on her blog, um, if you wanted to do all of them. I could probably cut a lot of this fabric off, this is like a half yard. So this one I am definitely keeping. Next is, um, this is a smaller one. I think I might eventually move this to a smaller bag or something. But this is called Color Lace. It's by Blackbird, uh, Blackbird Journey, sorry. This is a freebie design that you can't find on their site. I haven't gotten very much done on it. I actually haven't stitched on it since I started it like a couple of years ago. But the funny thing is, I do want to finish it. Because it's literally just black work and some beads. That's what I'm doing with it. Um, I've actually been thinking lately that I wanted to bring this out. It doesn't really matter which way I turn this because it's a square. So, that's that's my progress on it so far. This is just a... I think this is a 32 count linen. Just a piece of linen I had in my stash. 32 count or 28 count, one of those. So that one gets to stay. I really do like it. I need to finish it. Um, 
This next one is one I'm definitely keeping because I recently started it, I think last year. This is Descending Order by Long Dog Samplers. See, I struggle. This one is on a 32 count Lugana, just a plain white 32 count Lugana. That's, that's how far I got on it. Not very far. Sorry. That was just a, a box of uh, binder rings that I use sometimes for gloss. So that one, that one gets to stay. This is one of the smaller ones I was talking about. And these like really, really small bags. This one is the white pumpkin sampler. I really need to pull this out and finish it. It probably wouldn't take much to finish. This is by Dames of the Needle. I'm doing this on a 14 count shrunken um, fabric by LJ. I think the colorway is called Radioactive. See, I really don't have much to do because I'm not doing the quote and I'm not doing the border. I really don't have a whole lot left to do on it. Like I said, it probably wouldn't take very much to finish it at all. Probably could have used this for my daily 30, but I'm not. So this one, I'm definitely keeping, this is one of the ones that's going to go down here. So. Um, the next one. This is in a bag with hydrangeas on it, so it may give you an idea about what it is. I don't have the picture on me, but I will insert the picture of what it looks like. This is my Chatelaine. I just started it on January 1st of this year. Was it January 1st? I think it was. Um, this is all I've gotten done. <laughs> a square. That's all I've gotten done on it so far. And that's just a regular third white. Um, I think it's a 28 count or 32 count. I can't remember. But it's just a regular white. White Lugana. So. So of course, I just started this on January 1st. It gets to stay. next one I think this is going to be a give up I, I just I just never seem to have the motivation to work on it um, this is Fortune Owl by Soda Stitch um, I've already tried to restart this one time because I didn't like it up the first time and I tried to restart it a second time new piece of fabric new colorway because I just did you have the different colorways um, and I still just for whatever reason, can't bring myself to work on it. So that's that's what I had done. That's it. So this is gonna be another UFO. So we're already two down. I think a lot of these UFOs are probably going to come from um, my two bins because I think a lot of the other stuff that's not in the bins is stuff that I still like. I'm also going to stop using these kinds. I don't like these envelope kinds. Next up, we have this one kind of on the fence about. I think you like it. It's Hanging by a Star by Mosey and Me little Santa guy. Thing is, I have not picked it up since I started it a couple of years ago. I can tell you exactly when I started it. I started it in December of 2018. So it's been more than two years, like two and a half years, and I have not stitched on it at all since I started it. But I still like it, and I think about it sometimes. So this is stitched on a 
28 count butterscotch cookies by Hand Dyed by Stephanie. And all I did was his face and his hand. That's it. That's all I got done on him. So, this is another one that it's to stay. This one I may end up moving to a smaller bag. If I can find a smaller bag. Um, I'm going to put that here for now. I'm keeping it, but I'm going to put it in a smaller bag. Um, this one, I don't know, y'all. I think I'm going to up on this one because I just, I liked it. And I think I was just drawn to it because of the name. Hydrangea, which is my favorite flower. And it's got all the purples in it. But really the style of the design is just not my thing. Not really. So, I have to ask, am I lying to myself? On, do I want to stitch this or not? Sorry. Oh, and this by Carolyn Manny, by the way. Um, this is on a white slash silver even weave, 28 count. 32 count. Um, it's like white, but it has like the little sparklies in it. You really ain't gonna be able to tell. But that's how far I got done on it. Not very far at all in the middle. So yeah, I think I'm going to... Now I'm going to UFO this one, y'all. There's no sense in me hanging on to it. <laughs> Did y'all see that? I accidentally threw it. It left my hand and stuck to the filing cabinet anyway. Anyway, so that's, this one is getting UFO as well. All these ones that I'm going to UFO, I will go back later and just unkit them and do everything later. This one I do want to keep. This is Last Stitch Cemetery by Hinsight. Yes, I know this one is in the super fancy Ziploc bag. But I do like this one. This one is on, it's on, um, it's an under the sea fabrics, 32 count linen. I want to say Zephyrus. I may be wrong though. It's one of those. But this is, that's how far I got on it. Like I said, I do want to, I do want to hang on to this. What I might end up doing is I might actually end up ordering some more of those smaller size bags from Amazon and transferring a lot of these to um, any of these smaller size ones I'm going to transfer to like this size bag because I don't like using the zip box if I don't have to so that's going to go down here I need a drink break y'all I'm going to be doing a lot of talking and my voice is going to be my throat is going to start getting dry Okay, so the next one, I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep, you know what, as much as it pains me, I'm not going to, I'm going to UFO this one, because there's something about it that just not, just doesn't drive me to work on it, and that is the Mirabilia Miss Cherry Blossom. Funny thing is, this was the first Mirabilia that I actually decided to stitch so, but I don't know, it's, I don't know, it's, I'm kind of over it right now, so I'm going to UFO it. Problem is, I can't get rid of it, I can't just, like, give away the pattern because I started highlighting on the pattern. Um, and I haven't gotten very far in this, so, at least there's that. This is, that's all I had done on it. Like I said, nothing is really driving me to want to work on it. So, this is a 16 count Ada in Pompous um, by Pictures Plus. I know I can pick this out and use it for something else. There are certain colors that I just don't, don't stitch on very much. Green is one of them. And I'm not UFOing this because of the fabric color, y'all. So I don't want y'all to think that. I'm UFOing that because, like I said, I just... 
I'm just not into it anymore. Just, I don't know. Just don't want to work on it. Just nothing ever seems to make me want to work on it. The next one, um, definitely keeping because I just started it. Kind of sort of recently. Um, this is in one of my bags that's broken. Um, this is Heaven and Earth Moths. Designed by Marta Dalig. And y'all are not going to see very much progress on this one. I've been thinking about it. But I just have not um, brought it back out and to stitch on it. And this is on just a regular, as you can see, it's on the gridded fabric. And this is the 25 count even weave. That's all I've done on it. That's it. Nothing to write home about. Just really all I'd done when I when I first started it, that's what I had done on it. But I will I will keep this for now. I have the, the pattern digitally in pattern keeper. Mary Jane Thrash, I need to put in front of this one. Um, this is actually a free pattern that you can find. Um, I think it was originally through the um, Fiber Talk um, blog. And no, I'm not getting rid of this one. I started this recently in March, so I'm not getting rid of it that easily. But unfortunately, I just haven't done much on it yet. I just did a little bit of the border when I started it. And that's it. So, this is Picture This Plus. This is 40 count Picture This Plus. Ancient, I think. And I'm just doing it with the um, called 4 BMCs. and Privé. This is basically Mr. and Mrs. Quaker. I'm not doing it in those colors. I'm doing it in a purple and a blue. Well, it's more like an indigo color. Purple and indigo. So this is all I've got done so far. That's it. I do want to bring this out. It's a long piece. A long piece and it's barely going to fit on this piece of fabric which I dyed myself the 16 count Ada that I dyed so this one gets to stay this one I'm just referring to as mystery sampler this is by Long dog samplers. If I can get the freaking envelope in. Only, only bad thing about these Chinese envelopes right here is the zipper tends to get stuck. And you know how you fix that? You kind of flatten it down and then it should be easier to get it across. I can't show you the whole thing. I only have parts one and two printed out. Um, this is that you can find in the gift of stitching. This was in issue number 13 from February 2007. Let me get back in there. This one I am going to keep. It's a really pretty sampler. This one is Heritage. A picture of this plus. Something. It's a 40 count something by Pictures Plus. And that's what I've got done all so far. Not very much. Like, at all. Um, believe it or not, that's like purple there at the top. So, that's all I've gotten done on it so far. But, I do want to keep working on that. When the mood strikes me. I'm going to get back to my... Um, my rotation because I need to. This one, 
This one is iffy, y'all, but I'm, I'm erring on the side of keeping it for now. And that is the Plague Pro. Um, where is this from? Busby Designs on Etsy. I knew there was, I had written it on there somewhere. Um, I like it, but I don't like stitching on it so much. But I'll keep it around for now. This is how far I've gotten on it. And this is a 40 count Lakeside Lemons in Maritime White. So, I said this one gets to stay for now. Um, just all 40 and see. one this next one I'm going to do a bow this is the ink circles um, this is actually roll your own mandala, mandala I think this is set five I hadn't gotten too terribly far in this one I was doing my own colors with sexy floss um, I'm just I don't know, I'm just not into it anymore. This is an older design that I started a long time ago. That's how far I got on it. So, I was gonna do it in like purples and teals. Yeah, I can't, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do away with this. Cause it's just, I'm not into it anymore. And that's what happens. Like it, it seems like if I'm not, if I don't finish a project in a couple of years, it seems like my interest in it get, dies down. So that one's going. This one I'm gonna keep around for a little bit. This is the same stitches. I'm sure we've all seen it. I can't hold this one in my arm, it's kind of heavy. Um, haven't gotten a ton on it. I think I'm still on the top row, but I'm gonna keep trucking on whenever I get, whenever the mood strikes me. That's how far I've gotten done on it. This is on a 32 count um, even weave. This is Stormy Skies, Stormy Sky by Dwight Art. Something like that. Storm Storm Clouds, sorry. Storm Clouds. Right? One of those. We're getting there. This next one is a restart. I'm not going to show you my progress on it because I need to restart it. And that is the Avatar banners. So, I'm not going to show you. I just show this to you in my lip parade. Um, this one is going to be a restart one day. Next one, I've actually been thinking about pulling out and stitching on it. But I just haven't done it yet. And that is the Sleepy Hollow. We all know, we all see it. If you've been watching Plus for any length of time, you've probably seen this design. Uh, and I'm stitching this on the call for fabric, which is a 28 count haunted linen by Pictures Plus. Don't have very much done on it. Fabric is actually darker in person and it's showing up right now, but that's how much I've gotten done on it. So. This one definitely stays. I also need to move to a envelope when I get a chance. This 
next one I'm definitely keeping. This is the Scarlet House Smith Sampler. This is the only Scarlet House I own. Um, this is on, I think it's Brash. It's 40 count Brash by um, Picture This Plus. So, that's how much I've gotten done on it. Not Brash, um, Bramble. So, not a whole lot. And that was proud of myself. I think that was part of my with the last year. And it was a goal to finish that band. And I did. So, I was like super like patting myself on, my, on the back for completing a let's go goal. Like that. Um, so far. Um. This one, this has been a source of much anxiety. By all accounts, if I wasn't as far along on this as I am, I would have UFO'd this a long time ago. But the fact is, really, literally the only thing I have to do, left to do is bead. And even then, I really don't even want it. But, spirit of... Spirit of Joy by Brooks Books. I think I'm going to de-stash the rest of my Brooks Books stuff. Like literally, all of her stitching is done. All that stitching is done. All that stitching is done. Literally the only thing left is beading. And like if there's any back stitching. Is there back stitching? Yeah, I'm sure there is. It gets to stay around because I'm this close to finishing it. I'm gonna finish it. Okay, yeah, it's in the right place. I'm trying to make sure. This next one, however, it's not gonna be so lucky. This is another Brooks Books Spirit Angel. I started it and I really don't want to continue with it. That's the Spirit of the Christmas Star. She's pretty, don't get me wrong, she's pretty. But I just don't think I want to continue with her. I didn't get a whole lot done on her anyway. Um, just some in her hair. That's it. So yeah, she's gonna go. This next one is another source of contention for me. I love it so much, but at the same time, it's taking me forever and a day. I don't know if you can see it. That's the, um, I call it, I call her stained glass Ariel. It's the pattern I got off Etsy that you can't get anymore. It's not available anymore. Probably due to copyright. Um, but this is how far I've gotten on her. So this is why it's a source of contention because I've gotten this much done on her. And I still love looking at her. She's so bright and fun and I just love looking at it. But at the same time, it's a lot of areas of just big areas of color and that's painful for me to get through. So that's what I've gotten done on it so far. So she gets to stay. I may pull her out again one day. Do I want to or do I not want to? This one's going to be tricky. This one is from, this is a Susanna Rambo sampler. This is from a Just Cross Stitch, February 2017. It was in the February, April, and July. Right? Sorry, in June. February, April, and June. And I've already restarted this one time, but I'm, I'm restarting it on this big piece of 28 count MCG Evenweave 
and it's pretty. I do want to keep going on it. I really do like it. It kind of has that oatmeal-y look to it, which I like. But darn, it's going to use a lot, a lot of hand dye gloss. So I'm going to hold on to it for now. Um, I am doing it in, in hand dyed, in dyed flosses, but not necessarily the flosses that it calls for. Um, this one is one that I actually, I don't know, I keep telling myself I need to do it for this, but I also keep telling me that I really like it, and that is Think of Me by Alessandra Adelaide. I started this... <laughs> several years ago um, with flosses, silks that I had at the time um, and didn't get very far on it. I think I'm just not into the linen. This is um, Summer Sky, 32 Count Summer Sky by Fiberlicious. And I think it's just the linen I'm not into. That's how far I had gotten on it. I think maybe if I restarted this, I think I would like it a lot more. So, I'm going to put this in a restart pile and see if a possible restart or maybe a adjusting of the floss colors in my fabric change will spur anything. Uh, next one, I can tell what this one is. This one's definitely staying. This is the 1816 Land Sampler. And I keep mistakenly saying that this is in the gift of stitching. It's not in the gift of stitching. It is in the, I think it's Needlework and Primitive Stitcher magazine. It's a very long title and I can never remember. Sampler and Antique Needlework. Quarterly. And I really do like this. I'm doing this with either most sale or no, it's um silks for you silk. But I really like it. And this is a 40 count pictures plus ale. I really like that. The blue is not as dark as it's showing up, but it's really pretty. So I do want to do definitely pull this out again one day soon and put some stitches on it to work on it some more. This is actually in my 2021 flip go, but I did decide to forego the flip go this year. Forego the flip go. So this one goes up under V for Verland. There's a couple more left in this box. This one I might move to a smaller, another small bag again. This is the Reese House by Hands On Design. Um, there are technically all three patterns in this one. I'm I've already got the fabric cut. I'm doing them all in the same type of fabric. It's a 32 count um, under the sea fabric, something or other. So it's kind of purpley. It's gonna be hard to see the purple. Anyway, that's how much I got done on it. I'm gonna see fabrics, lapis, and 32 count um, Lugana in lapis. So. I'm keeping around because part of me does want to keep finishing it but the whole reason I started it was for my son and I kind of changed my mind on that. You can see that this is simple. Many simply meant to be. My Heaven and Earth is designed by Cherie Gerhardt. This is the 
and Nightmare on Nightmare Before Christmas type pattern. And as you heard, there are a ton of losses. This is one ring. I have three rings like this. I have two more in the bag, just like this. It takes a ton of losses for this to be a mini. So, I did get some progress on this before I put it away. This is again on the 25 count. Even weave, easy grid, or easy guide, whatever you call it. That's what I got done on it. So, freebie that I do want to uh, finish up. can't see it, but this is called Midnight Meow. This is by Nora Corbett, I think. Um, you really have to do kind of do a Google search for this because it's not gonna, you're not going to find it on their website or anything. And this is a fabric by LJ Fabric. I think it's called Gamble. That's how far I got done on it. It's a... 16 or 18 count. And if I had known that there were going to be quarter stitches in this, I would have done it on, like, over two on something. So. But yes, I do kind of, I didn't want to finish this up. And then last one. Um, this one, I don't have a picture of it. I mean, I don't have a picture on me. Um, this is called Modern Nordic. It's the name of it. It's in one of the Christmas issues of Just Cross Stitch. And that's how far I've gotten done on it. It's really pretty. And it's not going to take me much to finish. I can, I can, pro I could, honestly, I could probably whip this out within another, within an hour. Um, because literally that's how big it is. I just need to finish the other half of it. But, yeah, I'm going to continue with that. And that's an 18 count. 18 count something or other. Um, so that completes that tote. I have put the right lid back on it, huh? This next one... This is where I had my whip go um, projects for this year. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump them up on the shelf. Um, this first one, I do want to complete this for Abby, but I don't know, I'm still not for sure about the fabric. This is a soda stitch, it's called Princess Mermaids. And I haven't got, a, I didn't even say I, I've gotten more than just a little bit done. I'm still working on that first mermaid. That's her hair and then the, towards the outside of her skin. So, this is a Caribbean Tides, I think. Yeah, here it is. Under the Sea Caribbean Tides, 28 count Lugana, Opal. Yeah, opal. So it's got the sparklies in it. So, but yeah, I do want to finish this one for Abby. So she can one day hang up in her room. So this one is... Okay. This is under P. Yeah, 
Basically, as you can see, I'm gonna have to alphabetize these as I go. This one, I don't know y'all, I really don't. I think I'm gonna UFO this one once and for all. I don't know. <clears throat> I really don't know. Um, this is what I call Winchester. Um, it's from Etsy. I want to say Fiddlesticks AU. Yeah, Fiddlesticks AU on Etsy. I haven't gotten done, like, a whole heap of a lot done. This one is another one that's kind of painful to get through. It's nice if you just want big box of color. But I have enough of those. Enough. I don't know. This is on... 32 count sterling, I think. Buy a picture of this plus. I'm gonna UFO this one. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna UFO this one. Because I don't see myself finishing this. Like it's gonna be it's painful to, to work on it. And I can't. I can't keep doing that to myself. The next one is a definite keep. Um, I've already finished the first two, so I don't have a picture to show you of the next. But this is the Brooks Books um, Advent Animals. I finished the first two, but I do want to keep going on them. So, this is a kind of an icy blue, even leaf, Lugana. I think it's a 28 count. I have no clue. I think I got it from a box or a stash or something. But, I'm going to keep this one. This one, I think I need a new envelope for this one. Because this one has seen better days. This one is... What is this? Y'all, I need to leave this one out. I need. I really, 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 really need to finish this one. This is the birth announcement that I did for Abby. And literally only have the line that has her weight and height and all that good stuff on it. I literally only have that left to do. But I keep putting it off and procrastinating on it because it's over one stitching on Ada. So this is this is the first announcement that I did for her. And literally I only have like one line. I have another line of text like this down here at the bottom. Y'all. I need to get my button gear and just do it. I'm going to leave this out on this bottom shelf. Maybe that'll spur me on. Maybe. Next we have Historic Countries Sal. Um, this is a st stitch along in the gift of stitching. It's a 12 part series. It's humongous. Um, yeah, that's all I've gotten done on it so far. On this big piece of fabric. That's how big it's gonna be. So yeah, I definitely wanna move this around.
this one I definitely also need to keep around. Um, I don't have a picture to show you. Actually, yes, I do. Do I? Did I print one out? No, I did not. For a second there, I thought I got smart and printed one out, but I didn't. No. Anyway, this is Chester. And I need to pull this one back out come July. That's all I've gotten done on him so far. Um, yeah. This is how big he's going to be. It's a 22 count Hardanger white. This one, I already know what's in it before I even open it. This is the Plum Tree Antiques and Barson Labro. This is one that I do need to finish. I've been working on it for a couple years now. This is being done on my 36 count Zweigart Solo die. really pretty. I do love this fabric. That's how far I've gone. And that's only the top half, y'all. So, this one I definitely want to pull back out soon and work on it some more. In case you're wondering, yes, Andy's home. He's watching. He's watching the little one because I told him I was going to I was going to put all the, all my projects on the shelf, but I need to go through them. And to do that, I needed to do a thing and film it. So, um, this is... This one is one of another one of the two that I'm going to get rid of. Have another one that's almost identical to this that I'm also going to do away with. This is the 12th Doctor by Louita May on Etsy. And this one is going to be UFO. It's another one of those huge areas of color, huge areas of single color, um, and I actually got a pretty decent go on this, but at the same time, I'm kind of over it, so that's where I was at, so yeah, and this is a 32 count Lugana and Beach Walk by Under the Sea Fabrics, so, <laughs> Show you my Nina Minder. Keep calm, basically run. I did remember I I won that from No Name Nina Minders a couple years ago. So that one is going to be done away with. This one I'm going to keep, but I need to buckle down and finish it. This is the Krabby All Year series. If you've watched my channel, if you're an OG, you know what this product is. Um, it's been a while since I've stitched on it. I got kind of burnt out on it um, because I was trying to finish. I was trying to do each month in that month and I was getting burnt out on it. This is a 32 count Belfast in Ale by Pictureless Plus. Something. This is how far I got on it. See, not too bad. There are a lot of a lot of like long stitches in here as well that I'm gonna wait until the end to do. 
There are also buttons, several buttons in each block that I will also wait until the end to do. So right now I'm just going through and I'm doing the main stitching. So this one, Next one is another one that I'm going to keep around, and yet another one that I need to pull out and work on. This is Death by Cross Stitch. I don't know what happened. Oh, yeah, it's in here. Death by Cross Stitch. No clue. No clue what happened to the um, packaging bag that just came in. I did buy this as the printed pattern. I am stitching this on a 32 count MCG in linen and oyster. I do really like this fabric though. And this is in DMCs. It's $37.50, $4.98, and 154 Yeah. So that's, that's where I've gotten on that one huge piece of fabric. <laughs> That's another blanket. So yes, this one we'll definitely keep. See how these shelves are going to get filled up pretty quick. Especially I have a whole other basket down here of all my 31 starts. Well, 30 starts. I just recently finished one. This next one. It's a big project. And I just, I do love a sampler. The problem is this is going to be a lifetime project. This is, his eyes on the sparrow. Sparrow. My heartstring samplery. Another big piece of fabric. I have too many like lifetime projects. I'm UFOing this one. I know, I know, I know. I just, I, I have too many big ones. I'm, I'm a sucker for a big project, but I just, I don't know if I'm keeping this around because it's popular or because if I actually like it. Um, cause just looking at the actual design, it's just not sparking anything in me. So as you can see, I haven't gotten much done on it. So, I'm going to let this one go. This one is going to be UFO'd. I can salvage the rest of this half yard of fabric for something else that I like better. And then I have all these fancy flosses that can go toward other things. Actually, while I'm here, let me see something. Well, I was looking to see if there was a certain, certain color in here, but there's not. But, yeah. This one's going. This one's going. This one I'm definitely keeping. I remember this being a birthday start. Um, 2019, I think. I can't remember. Oh, I hope I actually show it to you. 
This is called Faith, Hope, and Love by The Word Basket. I am doing this on a 40 count with a single strand of Mosel silk. Mosel or silks for you? It's always one of the two. This is, um, I think this is another Bramble. I don't remember. It's a it's a forty count picture. This plus, you can't tell it. It has like a purple. But it's a dark purple, but you can't tell. Not in this light. But I'm definitely gonna keep this. Next one, part of me wants to keep it. Part of me wants to keep it, even though I haven't stitched on it since I started it. I'm not ready to let this one go yet. This one is called Why Is It? by the Cricut Collection. You can pause that and read the quote. It's funny. I'm trying not to take forever on this, y'all. This is. Uh, 32 Count Lugana and Kione by Under the Sea Fabrics. <laughs> Y'all are going to be so impressed with my start on this one. You're not saying things. That's two letters. It's literally only two letters. Like I said, I'm not ready to let this one go. I, I do really want to pull this out and look on it again. Because I think it's cute. And it describes me perfectly. It's more fun to start than whatever it is to finish. At least for me. And a lot of people don't like starts. They they get anxiety when when it comes to choosing a new start. I don't. I love new starts. As you can see. So this one this this one goes toward the end. Um This next one I do want to keep working on. So, not giving up on all my Mirabilias. This one is Aphrodite Mermaid. I'm stitching this on a special piece of fabric. This is a 32 count. Uh, I think it's 32 count. 32 count Grace's Ocean. <gasps> oh, by fabric flare. Get that into here. See how pretty that is? Now yeah, now you can see why I want to finish it. But closer up, that's what I've done on it so far. And see it's plain on the back. But I do want to work on that some more. I just I don't know. For some reason I just don't put high priority on Mirabilia's. I don't know why. Some of these may have to start going down. Some of these may have to start going down on the second shelf. So this one, I don't have a picture to show you. But I definitely actually do want to finish this one. This is called um, Dutch Sampler. You can find it on the Cooler Designs website, but I am getting it out of the 101 Best Love Designs from Cross Station Country Crafts book. It's a long title. Um, and it is, it's not the cheapest book to find, like $30, $40 you can find it. I happened to look up and get it from Listia years ago, but um, I do, pro I promise it's well worth getting that book because there are a ton of beautiful projects in it. Actually, I'm also getting, or I was getting, the um, A Mid Amish Life that I'm UFOing. That is in that book as well. All, the whole triptych is in that book. 
but this is where I've got on it so far. The most painful part is this alphabet right here. It's all in Algerian eyelets. I think that's what you call them. This is Ada. We'll just leave it at that. Otherwise, the rest of it is fun. The rest of it is not that bad. I do love that ship, though. It's a pretty ship. <laughs> so, I do like it. It's just kind of painful to get through that one alphabet. And I know there's alphabets above it that I could work on, too, but... I'm stuck on doing that alphabet first and then moving up and doing the other ones. So this one gets to stay. This one is... I'm going to move some of these down here. This next one is one I've actually been thinking about pulling out and working on. This is Coffee Quaker by Hot Shrink Sanitary. You see it? We've seen it. We love it. It is the Elixir of Life. And I'm close enough if I could probably finish this not too much longer. Um, this is where I've gotten on it. So... I'm, I mean, I'm probably a good 75 to 80% done. So it really doesn't require much more. So I definitely want to keep that. I do love this sampler though. And this is on a 40 count bisque. That Dutch sampler that I just showed you, that's it's a fabric by LJ, um, 16 count, something or other. This one is going to go down here. That's another smaller one. Told you, if I can fit it on the smaller shelf, I will. This is the other one, similar to the last one that I'm going to get rid of. This is the War Doctor, also by Lolita Maid on Etsy. This one, I think I got further along in it than I did the other one. I was doing this to in memorial to John Hurt after he passed away. And that's where I got on it. And this is a 32 count Lugana and Khaleesi by Under the Sea Fabrics. So this one, I also need to take the, also need to take the needle off. So yeah, yeah, I, I got a good ways in it. I got probably at least 50% of it done, but big, big chunks of color aren't my thing anymore. I don't know if they ever were my thing. This next one, I definitely want to keep. Um, it's by Lindy Stitches. It's Walk Fast Sampler. So they quote from the Golden Girls. And she does have another one that I will eventually get. I'm doing this on a 16 count Legacy by Picture This Plus. Now this is actually the original version of the pattern. She has tweaked it and updated it to, to be able to use like dyed flosses and stuff. Um, but this is the original version with just DMC. So, I haven't gotten a huge amount done on it, but I do want to keep working on it. So. So this one gets to stay. And since W is down here now, this one is about to be UFO, even though I just restarted it, thinking it would help me. It's not going to help me. That is the 
um, Fireside Originals Steampunk. Where is it at? Steampunk Luna Moth. That's the name of it. Well, I do love moths. I just don't. I just. Something in me just does not. I just can't get into this for some reason. So all I've gotten done so far on my restart is the body. That's it. So, and this was part of a 32 count under the sea. This is the, lin the linen in iris. I actually have the even weave in iris as well, but this is the 32 count linen, half of it anyway. So this one is going Told y'all I'm gonna be brutal. There's at least ten down there so far. Eleven. Um, this one I do want to keep working on. This one is Dimensions Gold Collection, Southern Social. This is out of print, but it's still it's not really all that hard to find. I haven't gotten a huge amount done on this one, but it's another one that I need to work on. I think the rest of these in this box are going to be kits because I was planning on doing Kit Mania in May, but that changed. So, this is how far I've gotten done on it. Not a ton. But I do want to pull it out one day and work on it some more. This is just a, it's an 18 count. Um, Ada. Yeah. Yeah. It's an 18 count with an off white or cream Ada that came with the kit. I like how these dimension kits used to come. <laughs> um, actually, I'm going to put this one right here because it's, it's different. Because so. it's different. It's in like different packaging. And this one I'm also going to need to pull out one day eventually. And this is another gold collection. It's called Kitty Litter. It's really cute. All the kitties in the basket. This one I haven't gotten very far on either. I have the hardest time on kits, y'all. That doesn't mean I don't try. Another one that barely has any progress on it. That's it. That's just in the face of that one little middle, like orange tabby one. That's it. Nothing else. And this is another 18 count. I think this is a cream. I think the other one was like all five. This one is cream. So this one goes under K. Is live life in the moment. It's just in the moment by dimensions. This one I've been working on for a very long time, and I'm not giving up on it yet. I do love the way this what I've gotten done on it. I do love the way it looks so far. So that's what I've gotten done on it so far. Like all the stuff that makes it look like wood, that's all half stitches. So that's it. That's what I've gotten done. And this is a 14 count um, beige Ada. I do like it, but maybe I made a mistake in not doing it on the white Ada that it came with. This is um, stronger than this is called Stronger by Design Works. Says you are stronger than you know. And I switched out the white Ada, which actually I still have in the pack right there. 
I switched out the Ada for a 32 count linen from under the sea fabrics. This is the other half of that one that I'm doing the um, why is it on. So I think not too bad. I did, I did work on it somewhat recently, but not, not since then. I don't get a lot done on it at one time. So that's what I've gotten done on it so far. I still may have a month where I go and just work on kits. Um, Um, this one actually I just bought and started last year. This is called Goldfinch and Lilacs by Dimensions. A little small pattern, small design. I am stitching this on the 14 count edge that it came with. And that's where I got on it. You can see the threads that I carried, this purple thread behind there. So that's what I've gotten done on it so far. down here at the bottom I'm not worried so much about putting alphabetical order and then the last one in this tote is a double piece by design works right yeah design works. I am stitching this on the 14 count oatmeal ada that it came with I don't really think this is really pretty. This the, the the picture on the cover on the front doesn't does it no justice. But this is really pretty. And this hasn't even been back stitched yet. That is really pretty. But I do want to keep working on that though. Originally I was gonna I was doing this for my mom. I don't know. I don't think I'm ever I'm gonna ever be able to give it to her, but I'm still gonna do it for myself. Tote down. I have one um, little crate down here. A lot of these are my newer starts that I started in March. Um, this one, actually, I just pulled this out the other day. This one is Dutch Tulip. I was going, I was debating on whether to make this one my next daily 30. And I still might after I finish the one I'm currently working on. This is another MCG even weave, 28 count even weave. Actually, I kind of splashed it with some extra brown dye. So. So I do want to keep that one though. There. It goes behind Dutch Sampler. Dutch Tulip goes behind Dutch Sampler. It's empty. This one, yeah, that one was already a year ago. This one I just recently started. This one is Miss Sarah Jane by La Dida. And I'm switching this on. I'm switching it on a linen. Well, I keep dropping things. Sorry. 
this is a 46 no, it's not confederate it's yeah it's 46 count confederate gray by luke's dye works and you're not gonna be able to see too well the progress that i got yeah you can't you can see it pretty good in this light that's how my progress on it i said i really just worked on it one day in march when i started it and that was all the time i had gotten on it that day Small ones work perfectly down here. This one is not small. This one I've already worked on a good, a good bit. And this is with the needle two by Lila Studio. And I had gotten a lot of progress on this last time I worked on it. I was obsessed with it for like two weeks. This is 40 count Lakeside Linens in Pecan Butter. And that was how much, how far I got on it. Pretty decent sized piece. A lot of these ones in this, um, this little crate right here, these are gonna be staying. Cause I literally just started them in March and I'm not getting rid of them that quick. So this one, This one, this is Klein 4. Um, this is another one that I just started in March. And I did pick it up and work on it again a few weeks ago. Um, but you've already seen that progress. So that's how far I got on it. That's where that's that one right now. I think, I think this is a... A, a random cut of Lakeside Linens Maritime White, 40 count. So it was like the, the random cut off of the Plague Pro. So this is going to be okay. Um, this one I'm gonna put it up the way it is for now but I don't know I may have to restart it on a different fabric I loved it when I first started it but now I'm not so sure this is the 2020 pandemic sampler put out by Sarcy girl on Instagram and I did dye my fabric to kind of match hers with the instructions that she gave but this is a 40 count and it's very hard to work on 40 count when it's this dark. So, this is how far I got. Can't be able to see that. I'm trying to hold it up where you can see it. And that's how far I got. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna hang on to it for now. Cause I do like the sampler. I just might want to restart it on a different fabric another time. But I will have to make that decision another day on whether or not I actually want to restart it or not. Um, this is another March start. This was the name's Advent. This was in a just cross stitch. Um, December 2015, just cross stitch. I'm stitching this on an Ada that's kind of similar to the colored fabric in the picture. And I didn't get a huge start on it, but I got a little bit of a start. That's that little house that's in the middle between the sheep. I'm kind of doing my own colors on this. So that one is definitely staying. Um, I'll even go back down here.
And then we have this one. Um, this was another March start. In the ship's manor, fire and ice. I will eventually get the companion piece, which I think is earth and water. Right? Earth and air. Yeah. Something like that. And I am stitching this in the, what you call it, the little balls. Um, Valdani's. This is a 32 count uh, Weeks Dye Works Platinum. And that's how far I got. I don't, know it, but I don't know why I'm even trying. But anyway, that's what I got done on it. next one I started in March. This is La Vita e Bella from Shepherd's Bush for Life is Beautiful. I'm stitching this on a 28 count even weave from Fortnite Fabrics. I can see it has like the tan and white modeling. No, like that then was a few of the outside of the flowers. Sorry, I got to see my mind working on alphabetical order. This next one is um, Good Intentions by Kathy Barrick. I started this, but didn't get very much done on it. Um, this is just on a, a 32 count uh, even weave that I dyed a while back. So. I start on it. That's the lady's face. See, not a not a big piece. Not a big piece. So basically, most of these I think, or all of these are gonna stay. I just need to put them in order. This one is the, it's called Bountiful Garland. I just call it Joy. Um, Bountiful Garland. Um, this is in one of the Cross Stitch Christmas books. Unfortunately, I just bought, I just got a pattern off of Listia like this, and I realized that it was pages torn out of the book. Um, one day I will go and get the actual book but I decided to go ahead. I have the pattern, why not start it? So this is my start. This is a 28 count um, Jobelin in Queen Anne's Lace. That was my start. Half of a no. So it's like a dark red. So. I'm trying not to make this too much longer, y'all. 
Um, we need to speed through these. This next one is the Spring um, Teasing and Chalk by Hands On, not Hands On Design. Yeah, technically by Hands On Design, but it's with collaboration from Priscilla Blaine of Priscilla and Chelsea. This is, you can kind of can see the darkness of it right there. That's, that's where I got to so far on it. Not far at all. Um, I, I think this is called Mystic. Buy a picture of this plus to this is a 32 count evenly mystic. 32 count was on picture of this plus mystic, yeah. See? My brain does still work sometimes. Um I'm trying to think what I what I'm gonna save this as. Chalk spring maybe. Um so some more of these need to go down. This one, I think I know what this one is. This one is the Crescent Moon Dragon by Joan Elliott. Crescent Moon Dragon. I'm sure you've seen people do it. It's another one I started in March. This is on, this one actually I'm going to restart it, but I'm going to put it as a whip right now. Um, this is actually on Haven. 32 Count Lugana and Haven by Picture This Plus. I'm going to restart this on a um, Under the Sea Fabrics that I had picked out before I started this. It just didn't arrive in time. So that's all I got done on it anyway. The fabric that I picked out is a little bit more purple. And I like it a little bit better for this. somewhere where I could just stick it in there while well, I had the pattern out, but I guess not. Where is it? Here. Yes. I did put it in here. I'm, I'm switching this. I'm going to eventually start switch this out for a 20 account even we um, 28 count Madonna in Lapis by Under the Sea Fabrics. You're not going to be able to see the color, so I'm just going to go ahead and put that in there while I have it out. Still over arranging. This one I started in March as well. This is Color Autumn. This is by Darian Jones. Um, you can find it um, on her Facebook page. Um, she does Freebie Fridays where every Friday she will release a freebie design. She has the, all the seasons in that. So this is my start on this one. This is a, this is the cut off of my daughter's birth sampler. 
So this is the crystal Crystal Heartland by Picture This Plus, 16 count. You can kind of can see the sparkle there, but that's what I got done on it. And I'm going to have another Duran Jones in here. So, just to let you know. Um, A couple of smaller ones. Um, I'm gonna have to kind of hold them back. First one is like Garden Square. It's a freebie design that I received with an order. This is also being done on a 28 Jubilin in Queen Anne's Lace. That's what I got done on it so far. I'm doing this on 28 count over one. Teeny tiny stitches. Teeny tiny. So, that goes down here. Another small one. Um, I printed out the cover that this comes off of. This comes off of the Something Old, Something New book from Rosewood Manor. This is the cover of the book has a whole bunch of um, samplers in it. This is the one I'm doing right here. Um, this one is on, I think it's a maritime white, like a little chunk of it. Or something it's on something bisque this is a piece of bisque 40 count and that's tiny that's teeny tiny this is basically the edge of the pattern so it's like right here it's like a gnat flying around here so yeah <laughs> it's a teeny tiny pattern and believe it or not i am stitching this over too on 40 count so yeah knots not much to see right now on that one. It takes a ton of color though. That would be such a small design. Um, let's see, this next one is a kit that I started in March. This is a sunset kit called Counter of Events. Sorry, if you see me scratching my head a lot, it's because it's kind of warm in here. And when I start sweating, when my head starts sweating, it starts getting itchy. So, I'll definitely be taking a shower tonight. After I wrap this up. So, this is a 28 count. Did I write it down? No, I did not. Is it 28 count or 32 count? This is a 32 count. 32 count picture this plus. I want to say the balloon. I don't know. It's something. Even weave. But that's all I got so far. That's it. This one, another March start. This is Plum Street Sampler Cinnamon Stars. I'm sure you've seen a ton of people doing this one. 
plan on doing this on a week style works. I think it's beige, 36 count. Um, which way is up? <laughs> Sorry, I had to think about that. 36 count beige by Week Style Works. That's all I got done so far on it. That's in that house that's in the middle. That's it. So. If I had my Excel spreadsheet, I could probably just go right down. Um, this is the other Doreen Jones I was talking about. This is another freebie. It's called um, Take One Stitch at a Time. I have a mug that says this. It's my favorite mug. And I'm stitching this on a 14 count. The Charles Craft Ada 14 count is called... Um, the color of this is called Wisteria. It's a deep plum purple color and that's what I had gotten done on it so far when I started it it's really pretty I like the contrast of the, the dark purple with the uh, the brightness of the color that this is going to be stitched in so this one might be moved to a smaller smaller bag so I don't need a lot for it I'll put it down here um, here's another one. I need, I just need to buy a whole thing of like these small size bags like this. So I don't have a lot of some big ones. This one is Welcome Campers. I'm sorry if I'm moving around too much, y'all. This is Welcome Campers. This is a freebie that you can find from the Witchy Stitcher on her website. She has several freebies. And this is Beach Walk. 32 count Lugana and Beach Walk from Under the Sea Fabrics. And this is my amazing start that I got when I started it that one day in March. So that's it. Yep, I know. Once I get the other colors around it, you'll be able to see that better. It blends in kind of right now, but it'll look better once I get the other colors stitched around it. Here's another small one. This is a Mill Hill Buttons and Beads. This is Moonlight Kitties. And another one day start on this one in March. This one is on a dark, um, dark navy blue uh, perforated paper, so I'm gonna have to kinda, that's what I got done on it. Look, wait a minute. Wait. Sorry, <laughs> this way. That's what I got done on it. Pull that in. You kind of can see like how it's, it's kind of dark, but that's what I got done on it. There's beads, all these spaces in between here. That's all beads. Yeah. So a fun times. So this one. flower night walk down a lot of people have stitched this one I just started this in March I'm stitching this on a 40 count truffle in picture this plus that's what I got done so far that's like that's like a it's a deep like burgundy purple color that you can't really see that's what I got done on her most of her hair <laughs> Kind of a pinkish fabric, but you can't see it.
Um, um, this one I don't have a good picture of, but this is a cat pillow. I just call it cat pillow by Doreen Jones. Cat cushion, sorry. Cat cushion by Doreen Jones. This is in one of the World of Crossage. Right? I think it's World of Crossage. Um, this is my amazing start on it. This is the other half of that 32 count Lugana Iris. So that's my amazing start on it. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful, right? Then we have another fun one that I really liked. I started it in March as well. This is called I Have to Scream by the Sunflower Seed. Said it's been fun, but I have to scream now. If you're not a people person, you definitely know exactly what I, what this means. Um, I think this star I started this on another cut of that crystal helix 16 count. This was the off cut of the the Lindy Stitches one, I think. So that's what I got done on it so far. This is like a it's a dark brown right there. That's what I got done on it so far. Not a big piece. Then we have it's another somewhat actually small one, but um, this is called Santa's Gift. I'm gonna have to hold it way back here. It's a freebie, um, another order freebie. I'm stitching this on another under the sea fabrics, even weave. Doesn't can't really tell which way is up, and doesn't really matter right now because that's all I got done. Mm. Until I got done. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to hold on to that for now. Uh, and then we have another world of cross stitching one. It's actually the same book that the cat cushion one came out of. I actually have the magazine here. So, I'll show you the cat cushion one first. That's the cat cushion. And then this is the one I'm about to show you. It's called Reach for the Stars. Um, this is designed by a designer called Me To You. Um, just how it sounds, M-E-T-O-Y-O-U. I'm stitching this on a 16 count Ada in the cardboard DMC. And that's as far as I got on it the day I started it. Just some of the pink in his scarf. tell though that since having Abby I've I have geared a little bit more towards some cutesy stuff which I was never big into cutesy stuff before um so yeah and then this next one is in a big bag 
but it doesn't need to be in a big bag, so it's going to have to go get put in a different bag. This is called Rocky Mountain Selfie. I thought this was super cute. Um, and this is by Stitchcraft. No. I'm sorry. Take that back. Who is this by? I don't know. It's by somebody. Somebody on Etsy. Sorry. And I'm stitching this on a 25 count even weave that's not previously gridded. So I'm kind of starting by doing my own gridding. So that's where I got. Not a lot. If you notice there's gridding on the other side. That's because I started something else on this before and decided to scrap it. So. last one in this crate is the Hello Kitty Cupcake. So for you know what doesn't have that orange and the eyes, that's my highlighter. See how many colors are in here? That's how many colors are in a very small design. And you're about to see how small this design really is. And keep in mind, this is what, 16 or 18 count, Ada? I mean, whether it's 16 or 18 count, it doesn't really even matter anyway, because that's how small it is. Yeah, that's that middle part where you saw highlighted. That's it. Not a very big design. It's got a ton of colors in it, though. So, that one I'm definitely going to keep. Kitty will go after Hello Autumn. So, so that is that one emptied. So I've knocked out a ton. This one is a restart. I've already talked to y'all about that one. Um, this one, I, I had to pull it out because I was going to work on it. And I think I'm going to, I don't know. Do I want to keep, I, I'm going to keep it out because I'm going to work on it. Because I just finished up something. But this is Spike Spiegel. I'm doing this for my son. And yes, you know, there's a thing that I said I wasn't really into. This not for me, this is for my son. So I need to get this done. Um, I am stitching this on a black Ada. I think it's a 16 count or 18 count. Oh, I think it's an 18 count Ada. But that's how far I've gotten on it so far. See where his, his fingers are. Right there where he was holding the cigarette. Where he's supposed to be holding a cigarette to his mouth. But yeah. That's how far I've gotten on it. I want to leave this out and I want to work on it. Because I just finished off something today. Which I'll see in my next update. So that one's going to stay out. Um... This one I was going to work on, but I think I'm going to put it back in my lips for now. Um, this is my birthday start in March. This is Hannah Sanderson by Dutch Treat Design. I'm doing the darker version right here. is just all DMCs. And I think this is 40 count straw by Leaks Dye Works. And that's what I got done on it so far. That's it. Just 40 count Leaks Dye Works straw. Part of me wants to pull this out and work on it too. But I can't work on everything at the same time. So, 
I'm gonna put this one in here somewhere. I just find that so sad as fun. Which one was this? Oh. oh, this one needs to be moved to uh I'm gonna probably just put this away. my lost boys one it's back here in the corner you see that frame right there that's my lost boys that one i'm going to keep here down here um princess grace's ball gown that one i want to keep this one even though i started this a couple years ago now and i don't have much progress on it I did kind of have to restart it because I was pitching over the holes where the beads were supposed to go and I just completely ripped that out and redid it to where I could see where the beads are supposed to be. This is just a 16 count Ada in petals by Picture This Plus. Lovely like mottled, very very pale greens and pinks. Really pretty. So, not much done there. Probably wouldn't hurt to put a smaller needle miner on this one. This one's kind of heavy. So, this one goes probably next to the uh, Princess Mermaids. recently worked on, which was the Proctor Flowers. And I know y'all saw my progress on it the other other week, but I will show it again. That's what I've gotten done on it so far. This one, this one I need to make a decision on. I'm yokoing this one. 
because I think I'm just hanging on to it because I've had it around for so long. But I just don't think I like it as much as I used to. So this will be the last one to be UFO'd. So that's it. Um, let me get these together and I will see how many exactly that I've UFO'd today. 12. I counted. I UFO'd 12 lips. So that's a pretty good, pretty good clean out. The rest of these I'm definitely keeping. Um, they fit into my shelf. I'm happy about that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to definitely work towards getting my lip pile down. No new starts for me for a very long time. So that's going to be it for me today. Um, I will show you, show you what this looks like. So that's what it looks like now. Um, as you can see, they are, this is, this one right here is like the end of current whoops. Um, this one's like a UFO on the back burner right here. These right here all need to be restarted. Um, this one right here is, is out on the scroll bars. This one is my daughter's birth sampler that I need to, I really need to finish. So, and then all the smaller, smaller ones right here. So, I may actually have room to work these in. I don't know. We'll see. But this is what it is right now. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to work these in. I think I'm going to work these in to, to the other two shelves and then I can have this one for other stuff. So, but yeah, that's my new, that's my new storage. And in case you're wondering, this is what it's sitting on. Um, that's where I keep all my fabrics and stuff. So, but that's going to be it for me today, guys. Um, Hope you had fun going through my whips like I did and uh, doing away with some that I know I'm never going to stitch. So, um, with that being said, I guess I will see you guys in my next update. Bye, guys. Bye.